Hey folks, it's Fox in here. Uh, kind of hanging out myself and my Steam collection while String Little is at some mandatory fun work shit. Uh, so I'm going to play a game here tonight that I've kind of been hanging on to because I wanted to record it so bad. Um, it's called The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. I know literally nothing about it. Might be kind of spooky spooks. Who knows? Um, but so far, what I can tell you is it is gorgeous. Look at, look at that. Those textures are just fantastic. Um, there might be ghosts. I forget. If it gets too scary, I might just have to like wait till String gets home. Um, but for now, uh, let's just get to it. I like that ellipsis as it loads. <laughs> loading. Loading for quite a while. This game is a narrative experience that does not hold your hand. Okay, I don't like hand holding. Awesome. Ethan Carter, I didn't know. But he knew who I was. When the police won't help you, and the priests don't believe you, you call on Paul Prospero. You call on me. If you're a kid like Ethan, you're right. Plenty do. Ethan's letter started out just like any other fan mail. But soon there were mentions of things no little boy should know about. There are places like that exist that very few people can see. Ethan could have drawn a map. Still I hadn't entered a. Red Creek Valley yet, but already I could feel its darkness reaching out for me. God, that's beautiful. Finding Ethan Carter wasn't going to be as easy as knocking on his door. I was too late for that. To find Ethan, I had to figure out what this around. place was trying to hide from me. Ooh. That is... <sighs> okay, so this game might make me a little motion sick here. I'm glad I don't have to go back and invert the... axes. So I guess I'm just supposed to walk around here? Those are the rails, guys. Whoa! Shit. Oh. Oh. Okay. I wasn't prepared for that shit. Oh, God. Oh, okay, I'm holding. Oh. Oh, God, I wasn't ready. What am I supposed to do? Okay. Whew. Um. I don't... Okay, so that makes some of the ground look gray? I don't... I don't know. Okay. Cool. I am going back here. Oof. Okay. My blood pressure just went through the roof, guys. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Let's, uh, let's drive on the railroad tracks for a little bit. We are out of tracks. This is not a drill. Oh. Can I just keep going? Oh. Okay. I thought this was going to be like. A Sherlock Holmes game. This looks like something I want no part of. Not at all. Okay. Um. Walking gently. And carefully. Oh. My heart is still pounding. Fair warning, by the way. Um. I don't do, oh, that's, oh gosh, okay, we're just going to relax here and look at this for a second. Whew. So let's take a moment to discuss the way that I, uh, way that I handle games that, uh, are a little bit spooky. 
Um, I don't. <laughs> First of all, um, I'm not a screamer, really. Like, I'm not going to be all over the place crazy. Um, I internalize stress like that by um, tensing up and swearing profusely as in, in, a, in a low voice. Um, so look forward to that. Okay, is this just going to take me back around the way I came? Yeah. It'd be really helpful if, like, I wasn't freaked out now. What is this sense thing? I assume as I go through, I'm going to figure out who I- Jeez. Jeez. Okay, I kind of expected that one. Okay, so as I find the traps, I'm getting more of a picture here. Oh, I don't like this one bit. Why did I choose this game? Okay. No big deal, just home by myself. Heavily medicated. And, you know, playing a spooky game. For a bunch of people. Golly. Okay. Is that it? Is that all the traps? Please be all the traps. No. Come on. What? Please. Okay. Uh, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> okay, I already went this way. So it looks like I can't get hit by the traps. They're just going to explode at me. I'm so glad I peed before I did this. I feel like there's one here. I just, I got this feeling. I already found one over here. Yeah, this is the other one I found. Okay. Cool. Crimity. Okay. I found three traps. I am pretty trapped out. Uh, but my gamer sense tells me there's one over here somewhere. That I missed. I want nothing to do with this. Oh! Okay. Uh, are we done? Please say we're done. Oh, come on. Come on. It's like... A dodo bird puzzle piece left. Like... Okay. 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 Oh. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, you just walk up the shit. Okay. Oh. Why? Can I just do this with my eyes closed until I hear the sound. Where, where are there so many traps? This is no place for a child. Um, it's gonna be the bridge, isn't it? I bet you this is where I have to go to further the story. Yeah. I feel like that's where I'm probably... I feel like the last trap is going to be on the bridge. Because the bridge is literally a death trap. Um, ass, ass, ass. Okay. Uh, String is going to listen to this later. and He's going to make so much fun, to me, fun of me. And then he'll feel really bad that I was so scared by myself. Okay. Uh... Bridge closed. Do not enter. So, of course, I must enter. Can I die in this game? I thought this was just going to be like a visual novel with like mysteries. 
Red Creek Valley seemed like a quiet, ordinary place. I've learned two things in my life. No place is truly quiet, and nowhere is really ordinary. Oh my gosh. Ethan warned me about that. Warned me not to be fooled by what I saw here. He didn't need to worry. I'd worked dozens of cases, hundreds. This would be my last one. Am I retiring? Okay, seems like this is where I need to be going. So I didn't find that last trap. Okay. I am like all hands at red alert here, but I am still more than able to appreciate what's going on here in this game move. Artistically, anyway. Uh, am I stuck? Did I get myself stuck? Can I just go this? Yeah, okay. Final trap, final trap. Trap. It's a trap. Okay, um. Okay, maybe that's it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay, Dodo Bird, show me. You went on second thought. This is not what I wanted. This is... This is not... Nope. Nope. I wanted no part of this. I... Uh... Okay. Sap by Ethan Carter. An old man came to the forest every day to drink sap from the trees. To get there, the old man had to step around many dangerous traps. Okay. The villagers believe this old man have hidden had hidden a jade amulet in the forest. The old man wanted the villagers to believe this because then they would search the forest for treasure and not drink his sap. One cool fall night, someone set fire to the forest and the fire spread to the village. The old man escaped the fire by covering himself in sap. When he returned to the village, he found all the villagers' bones. The old man sat down and cried. Then he found more sap to drink. Okay. Oh, jeez. Uh. So they set fire looking for treasure? Ethan, I told you, you can't be here. But, Gramp, I wrote something for you. That's real nice. Thank you. Just just leave it. I'll read it later. Wait, when did that bottle get there? Okay. Oh, whoa. There is suddenly more stuff here. Thank God the bones are gone. I was not pleased by the bones. Bayfield County Fire damaged a historic home in Red Creek Valley Wednesday morning, according to officials from the Bayfield County Department Fire Department. A family of six where the bla when the blaze broke out at the remote house once owned by Albert Van de Griff by the Ogden Lake in Red Creek Valley. Gail Cotta, 58, was pronounced dead at the scene. Remaining family members were able to escape. Cotta's husband, Edwin, 62, told investigators he may have fallen asleep with a lit cigarette in his hand. Firefighters were dispatched to the scene... At 1.22 a.m. and remained at the scene until around 5 a.m. Wednesday returned to the property. Since some hours, some minutes. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's see. And remained at the scene until around 5 a.m. Wednesday. They returned to the property four hours later to extinguish hot spots, which had rekindled. Assisting at the initial fire was the Ashton Township Volunteer Fire Department. Base of Villa Emergency Medical Services was on standby at the scene. Okay, cool. After heat of public hearing, no answers for Vandegriff heirs. Members of the Vandegriff family again gathered in the Bayfield County Courthouse today to debate the fate of the Vandegriff fortune. 
She's remained in escrow since 1961. I don't know what that means. With family patriarch Albert Vandegrift, 71, died in a mine accident. Wait, is this the same guy that, like... No. Okay. Albert was the ancestor. Edwin burned it to the ground? Let's see, he died in a mine accident, the after effects of which nearly destroyed Vandegrift Industrial and se severely damaged the local economy. James Vandegrift, 30 of Chicago, argued that his father's demands were unreasonable, and that many Vandegrift family members have personal reasons for wanting to avoid living in Red Creek Valley on the Vandegrift estate, as stipulated in the Elder Vandegrift's will. The recent fire in which the Vandegrift home was damaged, he said, only underlined his family's concerns. Since 1967, the Carter family has lived upon the former Vandegrift estate as temporary caretakers. Okay, so... Is the Vandegrift house owned by a super rich guy who died and the stipulation of his will was if you want to inherit his shit you have to actually live there and all the Vandegrifts are like uh no thank you which I totally heartily agree with them on this one um so the Carters are there taking care of it so they're a family of Alfreds but then they damage the house by Smoking it up. Okay. How do I put back? Okay, cool. What's over here? Oh, really? Cigarettes? Okay. That's cool. Um, I am sufficiently spooked. May I go back to the train tracks, please?